So welcome back guys. Man, it been seven months. I had put the uh, Subaru STI to get uh, a new motor. So what happened was politics, communication, been so long. So I just got the car back. I'm back. The first video of 2023. The car is outside. We're gonna check it out. It still look the same. I did one minor thing. I'm going to show you guys outside. Um, I think the neighbors next door, their dogs maybe be outside on the backyard, so they might be loud. Hopefully, it don't ruin the video. But I'm back, 2023, first video. STI is back. I almost had bought another car because it's been so long. I know, you know, thank you for everybody to being patient. And I'm excited because now I can do a lot more to the car. I'm going to Atlanta and go to the Cars and Coffee. Have fun, more videos for you guys, of course. Uh, we are gonna see the goals for this year because I kind of missed some goals for this year. So I'm gonna show you guys what I missed on 2022 because a seven month delay, it happens, you know, but now I'm back, I'm going in. So we're gonna see the goals, what we missed and see what we're gonna do for this year because I'm back, you know, that's all that matters. So let's get to it. So here we are guys. So this is last year goal. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this two off real quick. Just like that. I'm going to put that three. So let's get back to the goals. Rail JDM car. It can be in the works because the Subaru is back. So I'm going to see, uh, ask you guys, you know, in the comment to see if you guys are still want that car or not. So that 1K subscribers, like I said, I've been seven months down. I could have had hit this goal or pass it. But since I didn't do too much, I wasn't out there so people can see me. Finish the Subaru. I will say finish. Uh, we are finished, meaning it's back running. It's, you know, 100%. That means I still want to do a couple things before I go back to this. If I was to do the first one, and then this will be not finished. For now, we are gonna keep it there. Be more creative. Like I said, seven months down, I couldn't do it. Politics, I will tell you guys later on a little bit more about everything. Be more consistent. Like I said, goes back to the seven months the Subaru was down. Invest in myself. So the software that I use uh, to do my editing, it doesn't have on my MacBook Pro, it have on my iPad. So I had got a better iPad with more gigabytes and it's newer. So I did invest in myself for that reason. So that's why this will stay over here also. So that's still the same, all the goes still the same. I might add one more thing. I'm not sure what it is, but. So yeah guys, so I'm outside now. The car is behind the camera. Go, like I said, I'm going to show you guys real quick. I think today won't be no cinematics because the car is dirty. It been, like I said, it been down for seven months. So after this video on the next one, I possibly will do the cinematic so you guys can see how clean it is. So let's go check it out. See, so like I said, it's not too much different. It's still the same everything. So right here, I had put the uh, OEM intake box back here. This is still the same. Everything's still the same, but the motor, the short block is brand new. As you guys seen previous video that, so if you guys seen any videos of, on this car so far, uh, alternators new, the belts are new. Uh, I changed some of the caps that it wasn't the right one, so I put all that. Uh, the turbos brand new. So there's a lot of things that I changed, a whole bunch of sensors. If you haven't checked any of those videos out, make sure you check it out. So the other thing that is brand new, uh, as far as something different, it would be the wheels. I had got them brand new, painted all over the same color, OEM factory paint. So that's different as far as the last time you guys couldn't see it but i think three out of the wheels was not in good condition as far as the paint it was pretty bad so i had to change uh the paint so it can look fresh and brand new again so that's why i have to tell you guys about that and as far as everything else still look the same the the paint is still fresh. It was brand new paint job. Before the car went to the shop, the interior, everything still the same. Nothing changed too much. The shift knob is like from the last, one of the last videos that I did. Everything, like I said, still the same. I don't know if you guys can hear the dog started barking. But yeah, like I said, everything still the same. It's just dirty, really dirty. And I'm thinking about 
either just removing all the tint altogether or replacing it with fresh tint because I mean I like the look of the car with tint but then again if I was gonna to take the cars and coffee I want to get it uh, the whole car professional detail on the inside and get um, all the tents removed so when people walk by they can see the uh, car really well so I don't have to have the uh, doors open or have the windows down they, they just can like walk by and see inside of the car how clean it is yeah but like I was saying guys so this video is, is pretty much saying I'm back a little bit about the story why I was gone too long but yeah it's just a little bit of the story of why it's too much going on but I can't really speak too much on it just the way she was when she left but um so the car it runs perfect so the only thing I have to do now is um, I gotta get this uh, boost gauge back working I mean it's working but the light on the inside it's not coming on like it should uh, that's one thing I gotta um, get it going as far as uh, the motor like I said it's a brand new short block it got zero mileage on it and I got I got a receipt for it and it was very expensive so the car is a1 I love high rise this is like it should so I'm back inside because the dog saw barking so back so back to the story it was a lot of miscommunication so my car was down as far as wasn't being it wasn't being worked on like it should at the time that it's supposed to be worked. So now, when they got it worked on, and then the progress started going, and then that's why it took so long. Last week, I almost bought another car to put on the channel. I wasn't too sure about how long this car was gonna be longer, so I, I was gonna get a car, another car to get on the channel for temporary. That car will be expensive, so I wasn't, I was trying to avoid that. I was trying to avoid to buy another car, but it came to a point that I almost did, and thank god that the car is back so i don't have to now another thing um i have to almost get ready to go to texas if you guys have been watching me i've been mentioning a little bit before the year was over last year that i am moving to texas i'm excited my family excited so it's going to get better which that's the goal for the channel to get better and better opportunities over there so i'm going to uh forward texas if you guys didn't know and if you did, stay tuned. I got a couple more months left. I'm gonna keep this video just a little update. So the next video and so on is just gonna get better because this one I have to explain you guys a little bit because this sucked. I never thought that I was gonna get in this position about getting delayed that long, maybe three months or so, but seven months going on eight months, that's a long time, but I'm back. Thank you for staying all the way towards the end of the video and for being patient. Make sure you comment on the video like always, and guess what? Make sure you share the video because I'm back. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, buddy.